Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And today is a bit of an overcast day. So maybe the sun will peek its beautiful head out while we're doing this garden tour. Tour. Uh, this is the last weekend in March. You know, I'm so happy with the way things are going in the garden. This is a tour of my 9B garden. So if you love garden tour videos like I do, and then please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. You can do that now so that you won't forget. And also subscribe to the channel so you'll see more videos like this and more. So let's get into the tour. I you know I'm always long-winded. Now I actually added a little piece to the garden in last year. This was the FI garden. And if you wanna know what FI is, uh, I'll tell you in the comments. <laughs> or you can go back and look at some of the past videos and find that out. Now, uh, in this container here, I put uh, some Moringue in here. I soaked the seeds for about 24 hours and then I put those in. Down here are some okra. We have some sunflowers in here that I'm not sure if they germinated or not. And then in here I have some comfrey. The comfrey is looking very good for our tour today because usually it's looking kind of crappy and then later on it perks up. But right now it's kind of perky, so that's awesome. And then up here is really nothing to see, y'all. I worked on trying to decrowd some of my aloe plants. I didn't get to many of them because, y'all, this is a super prolific plant. If you want to put this in the ground, put it in the ground at your own risk. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> But I'm still working on those. And uh, this doesn't have anything in it. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it. But I just prepared the, I prepared the container anyway. And here, you look. Dun, 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 dun. What you say? We got strawberries, everybody. So that is a strawberry that popped up. That's one of the more, more healthier crowns that I got. And I know what you all are saying. Pinch that off so it can grow but uh y'all i'm not that kind of girl i'm gonna let that grow <laughs> these actually came from established plants as well and i don't need them to grow super fast right now so i'm gonna let that grow because i'm that kind of girl and then we have some i think one of these is a syriana pepper and one is a nada nada pino pepper and um, they're almost ready to go into their own container, so I'll be containerizing those very soon. And then on to our little uh, TP garden right here. We have our butter wax beans, which are growing very, very well in here. Now, I put three plants in each one of these containers, but uh, we're going to find out if that was a mistake or not. <laughs> Well, we're going to find out if that experiment didn't work because y'all know how I am. Nothing is a mistake. And then over here, we have some more okra plants. I moved the okras over here. Y'all, I did a lot this week. I did a lot today. And here is the Rondonese, and it's growing nicely. And in this container, I put morning glories. And as an experiment, I put some morning glories from different places that I got seeds from. And I swear to you, since I've been out, I've been out here for about two hours this morning. And uh, the morning glories have been popping up since I've been out here. So this is one of the, uh, I know it's hard for you all to see. But that is from the dollar store. And all these in the middle, I bought this pack from Lowe's. And then there's some more that are popping up over there. They're just hard to see. But that's kind of cool. So the morning glories, glories are coming up. And I'm going to have the morning glories go up this trellis here. So um, they'll probably go over that and then go over the back of it. Because um, I remember how the morning glories grew last year. Yay, I remember stuff from last year. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> and then we have our zinnias. So you can see I have some zinnias in the back that those were uh, volunteer zinnias that have the blooms. And in the middle, those are all zinnias. And I also planted some bachelor buttons around the sides because it looked a little bare. So I decided wherever I have a bare spot uh, or a bare patch of land, I'm going to plant in there. And then we have our peppers, which are doing well. I did cut off some of the Frankenstein leaves off of the peppers. I didn't want to cut too much off, 
but over time I'll cut more and they are growing peppers like crazy those are bell peppers that I grew from seed y'all mostly everything out here is from seed I have to say and then we have our black eyed Susans that are seriously seriously uh crowded in there and our Helichas Kristen Simone <laughs> y'all I don't know what the name of that is I planted some uh, chamomile so we'll see if those come up because last year I didn't have any luck and, and here are some sweet banana peppers and I'm going to thin those out and maybe uh, put a few in a different pot as well and then let's go back out here so I showed you all the rondonese and down here this is some cracker jack marigolds and those are popping up they're getting their true leaves already so yippee yay yay and then also our yellow squash here and we have radishes that are coming in and we have well I'll, yeah and then we have zucchini here y'all zucchini was getting hard with some hit hard with some bugs so i ended up doing a little bit of a pest treatment yesterday and i logged it into my garden journal so i'll know when the next time i need to do it again i looked on the leaves I couldn't find any uh, bugs or anything and so hopefully I took a picture of it yesterday and uh, later on I'll take another picture to compare and see if I'm still getting some bites. I use Captain Jack's dead bug brew and that worked really well for me last year so I'm trying to get ahead of uh, Mr. Bugs. So here is our uh, spearmint and Y'all, it's getting ready to go crazy, can't you tell? Because y'all know this plant did not look like this. The dill came up. We got our mom at the dill in here. And then I had some chives. Those are doing well. And also the lavender. And the lavender is looking perky, which is nice. Y'all, and this is my gazillion ground cherry. So I think it's about time for me to start thinning these out. And um, y'all, I hate killing plants, but I'm going to have to this year because... I lost my mind with the seeds. And then we have our lettuce leaf basil back here. I planted some more in these pots because I wasn't satisfied with just those little bitty uh, bits that were coming up. Here. Look at that. Nice. And then I also planted some more lemon balm in here. That's lemon balm. And these plants look so pretty. And I think they look good because I did feed them some 5-11 about a week and a half ago. So they got some good nutrients. Looky, looky at the carrots. And I know what you guys are thinking. Lizzie, you sold those carrots thick. And yet I did that on purpose because I'll be pulling them out at different stages when I need them. Because I like the little tender uh, young carrots as well as the large carrots. So there's a lot of carrots in here, as you can see. But like I said, I'll start pulling them out once they start maturing and let some of the other ones stay in longer and they'll get bigger. I um, put in some catnip and also I put sage in here. And once these get going bigger, I'll just transplant them into something bigger as well. Now, before I go on to the rest of the garden, I'm gonna show you the front part of the garden because I did some work out there. Okay, y'all, this is uh, the lemon tree number two here. This still doesn't have a name. Y'all had some serious digging in the pots here. I didn't have netting on this, and both of my lemon plants experienced uh, some digging. So I put some, I just put some netting down at the bottom of both of them. So I know it's hard to see. And I just stuck them down with a stick. And we'll see if that prevents the digging because I noticed every place where I put that wildlife netting, I haven't had any issues. Y'all look at all these buds on here. I didn't even think this plant was going to bud. And I'm telling y'all, once I gave it some fertilizer and started watering it regularly, because y'all know, this was another plant over the winter I just uh, didn't do nothing to. <laughs> it just started uh, getting bushier. And then it started blooming. So yay for that. Also, also I want to show you the remnants of uh, some of the aloe that I was thinning out. Y'all look at all the aloe. Uh, it must be about, I'm going to say at least 20 plants right here. 
and these were all crowded into some other plants. Okay, this is lemon plant number one, and it's looking a little uh, sparse because I went in and I cut a lot of leaves off yesterday that had uh, some, some fungus damage on it. And, you know, this was the one that bloomed first and the bees were on it and it's still blooming. You can see there's still some buds on here. And I was thinking maybe the lemons are not gonna come up. I see some lemons on here. Let's find one for you all. That do look like they're growing, so look at that one. I'm not gonna touch it though. Some of them fell off, but there were a few that stayed on. So I'm thinking that's just part of the life cycle of this plant that not all of them are gonna make it. So we'll see, here's some hiding under the leaf there. Y'all look at all those. Lovely. So I'm just gonna keep giving it love. I still have to prune a few more leaves off of here and then uh, I think this lemon plant will be fine. Y'all, this is the plant that I found the mushrooms in yesterday, the alien mushrooms. I posted up a very short, short video yesterday, a real short one, because y'all know, whenever I say my videos are short, it doesn't always come out that way. But um, I have to look at the last video too. Y'all, all these leaves wasn't here, I'm telling you. In about two to three weeks, you won't be able to see the soil because it's gonna be so many leaves on here. Just look. I cut all the leaves off, by the way. Here's a leaf coming in there. Here's a leaf right here. Here's another leaf. And it that's what it does. It just grows, grows, grows. Look, there's a leaf right there. I probably need to cut a little bit more because that's like dead. Yeah, see, that comes right off. Need to clean that up a little bit. But not right now, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> here are a few of the babies. The baby aloes that I took off of um, some of the other plants. Here's a big one. And this one was actually a part of, I think either one of these, both of these. And again, you can look on prior videos and you can see how overcrowded these were. Look how big these are. And they had like, both of these maybe had 20 or 30 plants in there. It was ridiculous. So I know once I see the babies popping up, cause I want these to grow big, I'm gonna start um, taking the babies out. And then that's a uh, baby Garut Jr. And then over here, these are some more of the generational plants that I don't know the name of. You can see there's a leaf growing up on there. And I think this plant is a recovering. Um, I don't know what happened to it. They were kind of getting yellow, but I'm noticing that the green is coming up now and more of the yellow is disappearing on there. And I'm gonna plant something else inside here with this plant as well. And then these, uh, the tips of these didn't have any leaves like two days ago, and now they do. There's a leaf coming up on that one. And y'all, this is how, this is how those aloe plants were looking. Y'all, it's probably about, maybe 10 plants in this, uh, <laughs> I don't know what this was, a uh, ricotta cheese container. And see, look at that. So they all just need to be split, but I spent a few hours splitting these plants and that's just a job in itself. And this is my old, old um, Swiss chard that I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna take a few I think there's a few of these leaves I can eat maybe with breakfast today, because even though it's afternoon, I might make some eggs and I can use those and pull the rest out. But y'all, this bed right here, this is something I worked on today that I did not intend to. And I this was a no dig garden here, or no, no dig bed. And what I did was I put down cardboard, I kind of cleared the area. I put down cardboard and then I put some nice amended soil in here and I covered it up with hay and I didn't put anything in there. And so my intention this year was just to come, maybe put a little bit more dirt in here and that was it. But what I found when I moved the hay, it wasn't any green growth, but y'all look, I kept these so you can see. And I pulled, I know it's hard to see, but it's like all these roots were growing in there. It was nothing but these fine roots 
which was really weird. Y'all know it's supposed to be a tour, but I, want, I kept this out so you can see. So I had all these roots, and the only thing I could think of is those roots are coming from one of these trees. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. There's another tree. <coughs> Ooh, y'all, excuse me. That's the only thing I can think of that that's coming from. But I, it were on the surface too, it was like surface roots, but no greenery. So I ended up pulling out all of those roots. I put in fresh dirt, I amended the dirt, and y'all just threw in sunflower seeds. <laughs> I just took some of the sunflower seeds from last year that I hadn't really picked through, and I just threw them out there. So I didn't even like dig them in or anything. So I'm gonna see what happens. And then this is doing a lovely. Y'all look back at the first pictures when I got these, and this is growing like nobody's business. I need a I need a bigger container. This container is too small for the, these plants for sure. Okay, but if I get to it, it'll be a miracle. Okay, so back to the second half of the garden here, and this is uh, my dream uh, trellis or dream arch here. Y'all have garden rooms. This one right here is the sky room. <laughs> this one is th the dream trellis. And then we'll get to the sunflower and then the Eden and uh, my friendly garden. So in here I have all of the tomatoes. Y'all, the tomatoes are happy right now in here. And this is something that I discovered today that was kind of happy that I didn't know that I could do was I just, shake this and the whole cage shakes and we got pollination going on because you know tomatoes are self-pollinating and you could just give them like a gentle shake every day when you walk past them and they'll pollinate themselves so this way i only have to just shake this and the whole cage shakes and that's because i put zip ties on here they're all zipped to the cages Even this one, zip tied. By the way, we got some more green tomatoes over there. This one's zip tied. So if you move one, everything shake, shake, shakes. And we got lots of blossoms. So we got a blossom here. Yeah, I don't know which tomatoes are which, so I just have to wait. Even the little tomatoes are a growing. So I have quite a few uh, tomato varieties and I also put some basils in here and I'll probably take some of these basils and plant them directly into um, the planters with the tomatoes themselves. And then we have our sunflowers which are looking nice. These were some of Bobby's sunflowers, and I know I probably need to take some of those out, but I'm gonna leave them in there and see how if they even if they grow short, I'm okay with those. But I know these are uh, large ones, and this one is a coming up. Yeah, some of this stuff just popped up since I came out here this morning, and these are the melons. Y'all have some major digging in here because. I think it's a squirrel, I'm just gonna say it. He got in here, it was an opening, he got in here and he dug some big holes. He almost he almost killed this plant, but it's still alive. We got the jarries haven't came up yet, and some more sugar babies. And then this one is uh, Cosmos, no Cosmos yet that I can see. And then of course, now this is the sunflower garden or the sunflower room here nothing on the trellis yet but the peas are coming up i know you guys probably can't see them but they're shoots um because i i put some more seeds in the bottom some more peas so there's going to be some more peas coming up and everything's looking good in here we got the collard greens and the mustards and also we have beets going and down here I put, I put turnips because the other turnips uh they were too old they didn't grow over here is the contender beans over here is the blue lakes and the blue lakes were getting hard with some bite, hitting hard with some biting so <clears throat> i ended up putting the netting back over these i had to take it off and i put the netting back over it 
and I have a little mustard green down here and sunflower. And then over here on the Eden uh, arch here, we have, I planted a lot of new stuff in here. I need to replace this cow pea. Something came up here and ate the pea down to the ground, which is fine. And we have a lovely cow peas and the long beans are popping up. I put an extra long bean in here this week and it popped up. It's going really fast. Yeah, that's because I gave this off some fertilizer. We have a cucumber plant. I still don't know what this is right here. It's something that is growing really slow. I have some mint in this little container down here. We got, I just um, did this today. This is some roselle. And then today I noticed we have a nasturtium coming up. Yay! I don't know if you've seen this pot because I just put this in a few days ago. And then we have some chives, nothing there. And cilantro, nothing there. We have another pickling cucumber. The other one was a pickling cucumber as well. And I tested out the eyes on these guys last night and they shine really nicely. And also what I did, because there's a lot of empty space in here, is I put beets in with uh, each one of the cucumber plants. And then over here, we have our tomatillos, and now these came up pretty quickly, so I'm happy about that. I know I, I can only really have one plant in here. Y'all know these grow really big. And so I got another bucket ready, because we're gonna have at least two plants, because you need two, according to my research, for um, them to pollinate. Y'all look, these guys, they don't like it when I come out here. There's a million of them. I call them the garden guardians. And they're they're everywhere i hear them scurrying around but they don't mess with anything so and i know as long as i see those uh, there's no snakes so i planted my other yellow um what's the who's it <laughs> my yellow squash today let me see how it grows in that pot because i know yellow squashes get big there's just one plant and then oh and then we have our Bobby sunflowers there. There's nothing in those pots there. And then I have another uh, giant sunflower here. Well, I don't think this one's a giant. This was the volunteer that I thought was a cucumber. That's growing nicely. And then if we go on this side over here, we have another cucumber plant. And we have down here some beets as well. Those are coming up. And I just noticed when I watered this that I have a borage. You see that one little borage plant right there? So borage is coming up. I just planted some Shasta daisies. And I don't know if I'm gonna leave this here or not. And then here we have some straight eights. Y'all, I just planted these like two days ago. I think what I did was I had the dirt ready and I put the label in here and I didn't put any seeds in because like three weeks later, I'm like, where are my cucumbers at? <laughs> and this time I just turned everything over and replanted the seeds and they came up immediately. So I'm, I'm gonna cull the herd and uh, keep maybe two plants in there. I don't know, I haven't made my mind up. And these are cow peas, they're looking lovely. And they're almost ready to start going on to uh, the trellis. Yeah, I'm gonna be watching my beans with a hawk eye because last year the aphids, what? Even though these were up on the trellis, they weren't up on the trellis like this, but the aphids was crazy. They love the blooms on the bean plant. So I'm gonna keep my eyes out for that. And over here is kale, kale, kale. And you can see where the kale is getting ready to pop up here. It looks like the, the ant hill, but it's not. And I also planted some leeks in here too. So we'll see how all that grows together. It's going to be a lot going on in this container here. Okay, and this is the friendly garden. And this has my drawers that I rescued off the curb. And we have our bloom. Yay! I had to uncover it because this was messing my bloom up on my bunching onions and we got some baby bunching onions coming up we got lots 
some lettuce babies coming up. Yay! I just watered it, so a lot of them are laying down. I tried to gingerly water things because I didn't have time this morning and the sun is up, but I did it anyway. We got spinach back here, and y'all don't know about the Utah lettuce. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research on that because I don't think they came up. I think those are all like weeds. And then down here is the kohlrabi, and we got some volunteers in here too. So y'all can see here, y'all. These are watermelon. I already know because there was watermelon in this uh, pot before. So I'm gonna have to pull those out. I was thinking about just leaving one and just let it grow down here and see what it does. With, and Because I'm gonna take some of this kohlrabi out of here and probably put it in the ground. So I hope y'all can see, cause I can't see cause it's sunny out here now. All right, and then in here we have uh, Okay, this is Swiss chard, and this is the time is growing. What is that? I see a weird bug on here. And over here is some kale. No, that's Swiss chard also. And then there's nothing else in there coming up. Y'all sound like I'm out of breath because uh, my nose is running. <laughs> So this is what it's looking like, y'all. This looks so different from a few weeks ago. Y'all should look at the videos a few weeks ago. This place was a disaster out here. And now we got greenage. It's all pretty, stuff is growing. We're getting organized. If you wanna call this organized, I'm okay with that. Let's give our tomatoes a shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 just a gentle shake, see? Shake your booty, shake your booty, can blossom. I'm really happy about the tomatoes. I don't know why I didn't think of putting tomatoes all together. I'm really happy about the carrots. Yeah, I'm just really happy. I love being out here, but I'm hot. The sun is getting me. I might come back out later and do a few more things because y'all know how, that's how we roll. But the majority of the stuff is done for today. It's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this beautiful video. And I would love to see a thumbs up from you and a subscription if you haven't subscribed already. And also you can leave a comment and let me know like what are you most excited about um, for your garden? What's the most exciting thing you're growing in your garden? All right, everybody. With that, I'm going to go ahead and shove off and you all have a beautiful, beautiful day.